Hey everyone, and welcome back to episode 658 of Fallout 4. Last episode, we made it to Shaw High School, finally started clearing the place out. It is chock full of super mutants. It also has a really, really weird building layout that uh, I kept pointing out, and it just, it still baffles me. The principal was a total douchebag and drugged up his student body with mentats to make them pass their tests. He also has just god-awful sentence structure. <laughs> Starts many sentences with and. It's pretty annoying. It was really annoying reading his terminal. Uh, this is a locked faculty terminal. All the other ones were unlocked, but they all have the same dialogue. So let me, let me check this. Trade can't be allowed. Could be tasks. Nice. It was tasks. And this is the same exact Mine terminal. Well, yeah, he, the principal's a total doucher. Total doucher. Uh, is this it? All right, so this loops back to the main area. The only place left for me to explore is the library. Wait, right? No. No. Hold on, I didn't, I didn't loot these, did I? No, I didn't loot these. We're getting there. It's almost to the library. So we found a uh, big door over there that leads to a library full of super mutants. There was a turret back there as well. Damn it! Again, with the lockers, with the uh, the textures. That's not an item that I can take. I can't shoot the... I can't shoot the locker. And, like, move the item. That's so confusing. Also, why are there cigarettes in a high school? Again, like, why, why are there cigarettes in a high school? I do need to pay attention for traps. I actually found one trap in this building, and it was in the science room. Oh, my God. Where did that launch box go? Did you see that? Where did that launch box fly off? Oh, my God. That thing, like... It just spazzed out. <laughs> Mine now. Overdue book. Overdue book. Don't take print books. Don't take print books. Take pencils. I may have missed a pencil or two here and there. They're kind of really teensy weensy and hard to see. But it's like one one wood or whatever. Not something I'll overly worry about. I, of course, do my best to loot everything. But if I miss a pencil, it's okay. It's all right. Um, these looks like non-functioning terminals. Non-functioning terminals. Nuka cherry, a baseball glove. See, I mean, these are things I'd expect to see. Oh, that terminal. That terminal is a student terminal, not a faculty terminal. This is a unique one. Danger, unauthorized software detected. The following programs are no longer functioning. Read-only settings, decency filters, vulgarity blockers, anti-gaming software. If you are a student, please alert your teacher to these changes. If faculty, please contact a school technician before allowing students to use this terminal. Rusty's journal, keep out. Really, you need a password protected or anything there, Rusty? Rusty, this is Rusty Burton, and all you jerkwads trying to read my thoughts better step off. If I find anybody reading this, you're in for an atomic wedgie that you'll never forget. You have been warned. Huh? I'm in. This terminal is mine. Can't believe that nerd Clayton fixed up this computer so I don't have, uh, so it don't erase everything. It, so it don't. That's not how you use the word don't. But uh, so that it don't erase everything after class. Little geek done good, but I'm still taking his lunch money. Taken with no G. Taken his lunch money today. Maybe I won't pound him so hard, but I gotta eat something. Uh, you don't, you don't, you don't say I won't pound another man so hard. And uh, can, rusty sentences, sen sentences. Anyway, the class is boring. Mr. Ramirez flips out if I don't look like I'm typing. Typing. That therapist. Therapist. <laughs> my mom makes me go to says I should write out my feelings more anyway so what the hell we'll see if this works rusty rules rules rusty rules oh my god rusty Tanner sucks Prince really Prince up I have never seen principal spelled Prince up who will Prince up who will Tanner I should read it like an idiot like he types Principal Tan Tanner pulled me out of class today and I was pissed cause I don't like even do anything. Turns out he wants me to do some work for him. Told me to start selling mentats around school. Uh, this is just how I imagine Rusty here types or speaks. I said what's in it for me? Tanner. Longer lunch time and some t uh, some stuff taken off my permanent record. How's that for a, for a deal, huh? And I mean, I sell stuff already, so no sweat. I just hand out these mentats instead, and it's free riding the rest of the year. Even tried a few of them. Make man, they make my head feel real fun, or make my head feel funny. But it feels like everything Mr. Ramirez says makes Mr. Ramirez is saying makes sense now. Weird. It's really hard reading this guy's sentences, like the typos and shit, the intentional typos. It's like it's like really disorienting. Update. Is he gonna keep like speaking correctly because of the mentats? 
Tanner has kept up his part of our uh, kept kept up his part of our agreement, keeping my lunch hour as long as I distribute Mentats amongst the other students. Funny, he doesn't see the notice that I've also been taking them. My parents have. I came home with a B plus test grade, and one that I earned myself. I didn't even have to copy off Clayton. Tan Tanner seems pleased though. I haven't quite put together why he would throw his hat in with me and the other school miscreants for this goal, but I feel like I'm getting closer to figuring it out every day. Rusty Burton signing off. This is some really God. Like this whole building has some fucked up sentence structure. Like it's like hard to read. I want to say in intriguing development. Intriguing development. I think I've deduced Principal Tanner's plot. Oh God, he's getting smarter. <laughs> the drugs are working. After he said deduced. After announcing a, ra a rise in test scores, it all became clear to me. Tanner hopes to earn himself accommodations from Superintendent Marcello, I'm, I'm, or Marcello, I'm guessing, and the school board by raised standardized test scores. An ingenious plan won the old Rusty, the old Rusty, so he's referring to his past self because of the Mentads, wouldn't have pieced together. But how to turn this to my advantage? Hmm. My master plan. As I predicted, Tanner leaves his office door unlocked when, when using the restroom. I was able to sneak in and make a pressing of the key and clay a requisition from the art department. Yesterday, using my new key, I entered his office and used the terminal and found a stash of Mentats. I also read his logs and verified my theory. He is using raised test scores to increase school funds and pocketing most of it. Now I have what I need. I have arranged a meeting in the library study room with Tanner. I'm doing most of the hard work. Why shouldn't I benefit from the cash flow increase? Finally, I'll be able to buy that telescope I've been wanting. There's going to be, like, a dead body in the library room when I go look at it, isn't there? Someone's going to have killed someone else. This is going to be great. <laughs> this is getting juicy. This is, this is it's an interesting story, albeit the grammar is atrocious and not exactly the most pleasant thing to read, but it is, uh, I look forward to how this pans out. All right, Codsworth, don't, don't do too much stupid behind me. You just, you be careful. So what do we got going on in here? I mean, obviously, they all ended up being eaten by super mutants, unless they turned into super mutants themselves. You know, nothing on any of this stuff. All right, I'll take the stairs down because I want to loot the meat bags along the way. Uh, random death claw meat. They, they have, uh, super mutants seem to have a. Uh, what the hell was like an item there that disappeared? That was really weird. They seem to have a sick obsession with killing death claws. Uh, so very often, I find death claw meat. IV bag. I want, I want that other one. I see you hiding under there. What you got? Rib cage? Rad scorpion stinger? Alright, well, loot's loot. Useful loot's useful loot. Mammal bucket. Oh boy. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I got an enamel bucket. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ah, nice try, mine. <laughs> Any other mines down here? Whoa. That is a texture glitch and a half. Holy shit. <laughs> That's looks like a black hole. Are there frag mines down here? No, no, Kate, let me let me do this. Frag mine? No. But there's a trap that got triggered. Ooh, rifle. Recoil compensated rifle. This is a fancy rifle. Sorry, Super Mutant Overlord. You don't need that. What are they doing with guns anyway? Super mutants, you know? Like how the hell do they get their fingers on the trigger cards? They figured they'd all be using the hammers and shit. Especially with their, their like brutish mentality of me strong, me smash. It's kinda of funny to see a uh a super mutant running around with a rifle. <laughs> that doesn't really make sense to me. Wooden blocks. Why in a high school library do we have baby toys? First first up, outside, they had like teeter totters and and swing sets and you know, like things you'd see at an elementary school or maybe even a middle school, but this is this is straight high school. You got all this baby shit. This is great. Mm, that meat bag? Yeah, I mean completely empty. What? I thought I saw something on the ground. Hey, stop twitching. Get out of here. I thought I saw something. Must, must have picked it up by spamming E. I thought I saw an aluminum... Ah, there. An aluminum can. Codsworth is just infinitely running into a wall. Codsworth, stop. Dude, I just sneak attacked him for a crap ton of damage. I'm almost sorry, Codsworth. Library key. So we have that. Let's see if this book return terminal has anything half decent in it. Uh, we're trying to do books. Actually, no, no. Let's do spend tokens. Let's see what they have. 180 tokens. Mentats. A lot of Mentats and an undamaged baseball glove. So, nothing that I really want. Let's return any overdue books that I may have. Ooh. That's a lot of weight lost. That is good. 16 books. I believe they're... I think they're half a pound. I don't think they're a full pound each. So, either way, it was 8 or 16 pounds lost right there. That was, that was good. 
are we gonna find out like what happened to these kids? I just I just know that they were meeting up here and duking it out. Ah, here we go. Alright, Burton. I'm here. Hurry up. Out with it. I have a lot of plans for this summer, and none of them involve chatting. Oh, sir, do be careful. Why, Ron? I wouldn't want either of us to encounter the Skipping the pleasantries and getting right down to business. And after yes. all we've accomplished together this semester. For the last time, you little snot, it's Principal Tanner. Fine, Principal Tanner. I'll make this quick. You've been giving me mentors to distribute to the students quietly and under the nose of the faculty. I have. Because of this, the test scores have skyrocketed. The school board has noticed. We received quite an increase in funding. But the faculty doesn't know. No one here knows except you. And now, me. You've been skimming off the top and pocketing most of the funds. I want 50% of what you're embezzling. We'll go to Superintendent Marcella with this. What? How did you... When did you get so smart? You've been giving me brain pills every week. What did you expect, you pathetic little man? Well, so what if it's all true? No one's going to believe you. You're just a kid. And I'm the principal, and more importantly, an adult. Oh, I think they'll believe me, Ronald. Especially after they hear you admit everything in your own words. What are you talking about? Wait. Is that a hollow tape? You son of a... Ah, got him. Got him. <laughs> there's a use to that. I'll Who's turpentine, I think? Of course there's a use to turpentine. Cosworth, get out of the way! Stop it! <laughs> he's so convenient, but he's so fucking annoying. <laughs> he's just spinning circles. Ooh, there's another room. Ooh, any traps? No. We do have some loot here. I like how there's plates with like a fork and knife just sitting there. Ooh, what a comic book entry. They're just eating, casually eating people right here. It's just totally not gross or anything. Oh, the flux sensor. Oh. I forgot that was a that was a thing that I was supposed to do forever ago. Another overdue book I should turn in. A couple of them even. Let's see the Unstoppables. Permanently gain plus one percent chance of avoiding all damage from attack. I have a couple of these. I don't I don't know what the exact percentage is. I, maybe I can check it in my uh, my stats or whatever. Why is there a toilet plunger underneath a trash can with books on top? Who took the time of day to do that? I wonder if I can see that. Because if that, uh, that that all stacks, I should have... I wonder, I wonder, what was that one called? It was called the Unstoppables. Is that just like down here? Unstoppable 4. I guess there's 5 in existence, maybe? So it's a 5... As of, as of now, I have a 4% chance to avoid all damage of an attack that comes onto me. So if I'm just being lit up by somebody using, for example, a minigun. And you know, obviously they're putting a lot of rounds out a minute. Uh, I have a pretty good chance of avoiding some of that damage. It's kind of cool. Uh, yes. But I wonder what that does for your power armor. I mean, sure, I can avoid damage. I don't really care about my character's health value. My character's health is virtually limitless and always regens. And yeah, I think we're completely done here. But it but it would damage my power armor, I would wager. Or I wonder if it classifies it as completely nothing. Therefore, it doesn't damage the power armor. I don't, I don't know how the calculations are made. Like, I wonder if it hurts your armor but doesn't hurt you, or if it just does nothing. No idea. But yeah, it looks like we are done. I don't think I've really missed too much of anything in here. I think we're I think we're clear to go go. That was a good little loot haul. That was cool. And I totally forgot that Scribe Halen sent me to go get that flux sensor, God knows when. That had to have been forever ago. <laughs> well hey, I got it. And I did a I did a quest inadvertently without even realizing. That's almost always the best part. When you you just you accidentally a quest. <laughs> I think that's part of the part of the fun that I have when I just randomly uh, like I explore the world and I randomly accomplish things without having truly realized it. Yay, it's nice and daylight out here. Good stuff. It's fantastic for exploration. It's very conducive to what I need to do. So, I checked this building, but I want to go check the back end. So this is kind of near. This is the medical place. This is the hopsicle. Yeah, I've already explored all this stuff. Just making sure. Hold on. I thought that was a door that I could use. So, I could go back and drop my loot off at uh, Egret Tours, but 
I'm pretty good right now, I think. And, I mean, heck, if I even work my way over here, I can have the castle worker run back. I haven't even put anything in Codsworth. Or, no, maybe I did. Yeah, I did, but it wasn't a lot. Codsworth, either way, should have tons of carry capacity left. Yeah, let, let's... Oh, God, is there a radio in the trash can? Do you hear that? Let's see. What? There's, like, an invisible radio here. Do you hear that? Kaiser, shut up. Heads up. Head over there. Go there. Nothing would please me. <laughs> I want you to try and hear this. It's like right here. It's like a ghost sound that just kind of started here. I've had that before with that one radio that was in a trash can pile, but I don't see the radio. I don't see any piles of crap here. It legit sounds like the radio is right here. Like the, the sound effect, at least, is originating from that business. That's a really weird little thing. I don't know. Codsworth is back? Yeah, he's back. <laughs> I sent him on a vision quest, okay? I didn't, I, didn't want him to, I didn't want him to mess with what I was doing. I don't believe there's anything up here in the northern end of the grid, however. It'd be foolish of me not to at least check. I always check, at least where possible. Nah, just some rocks, just some open area. Nothing. Nothing. I'm leveled up. I know, I know, I'm, I know I'm leveled up. I'm saving my points for just a little bit before I make a big spend. Is that... That's where I got the power armor earlier, isn't it? I think that is. Okay, so, hello. You guys just kind of spawned in. Mr. Handy War Machine. Assault Tron Gorgon. Okay, so that's, that's the, that's the target. That's the first target. Um, is your... Combat inhibitor? Yeah, that'd be your weak spot. Let's crit you. Yum. Yeah, that, that's definitely what had to die. Come on, Codsworth, go in there and be a damage sponge. Be the damage sponge I know you can be. Oh god, he's making so much weird noise. So there's Lucky Charms, we're good on our crits. Now we can just shoot him. Sorry, dude, you got lit up. Right in the face. Anybody else? Looks like we got him. That was a quick little rust devil clearing. Now, moment of truth, can I find all the bodies? Can I find all the corpses? Oh god, there's pieces of this dude. <laughs> this is this is usually the hard part. Where are they all located? Really? You're such a high level. Such like a menacing looking enemy, but you really had nothing on you. Didn't I just kill the dude like right here? There he is. I wonder where the hell his body went. Codsworth, come here. Heads up. Of course. It's the worst thing you can do. You can spend the resources and the time to kill something, and then, like, you just, you straight up lose track completely and utterly of where that something is. Uh, I thought I put my skull bandana away, but I didn't. Close. Close. Yeah, I don't want to spend the ammunition and not get my loot. That'd just be a sad, sad day. Come on! Why can't I just drop off, drop off all my junk here like I can in a, uh, like a normal container at a, uh, at a settlement? Whatever. Good enough. Map, let's see. Mm. Yep, we're clear to go into the next portion of the grid, if I do say so myself. Can I, uh, I know there's a power armor suit nearby here. Did I, like, did I look, like, all the way around here just to make sure there's nothing else I missed? I think I did. Don't kick that thing and scare the hell out of me. I thought something happened. Ammo can. Yeah, loot of the ammo can. Yeah, I don't really remember. I just want to, just want to double up. Looks like I did. We gotta double check these things. There's brain fungus. Yeah, I looted that. Oh, missed that ammo box. Hey, see? This is why you double check. Either either I missed it or it respawned. Probably missed it. But you know what? It's in my inventory now. There's a big old lake up here. What have we here? Hmm? What have we here? A big old nasty looking lake. And is that a is that an enemy? Nope, that's a grill. <laughs> I thought that was an enemy from a distance. I thought that was a red outline. There's a is that a ghoul or that's a ghoul. There's a ghoul right there. Uh huh. So we did kill a few ghouls when I passed by that area. Myler Queen, maybe? That'd be awesome. But Myler Queen wants to pop out of this big old swamp. Hey Myler Queen. Are you here? I'm waiting. <laughs> I don't know how exactly I want to go about. I thought I heard gunfire. No. I don't know exactly how I want to go about full clearing this little area. I'll do my best. 
Alright, I don't want to sink because that's going to suck, so let's let's jump from thing to thing. You're just out in a boat, drinking a ton of beer, enjoying the apocalypse. Eh, eh, eh. More power to you, lady. Oh shit, apparently this isn't that deep. I bet there's a spot, though, that's pretty deep in the water. I'm getting rads, oh no! I think I'm, I think I'm curing my rads faster than I'm getting them. Oh no, rads, what do? I'm so glad I invested in solar power. It was such a good decision. Definitely wish I would have got that. Ah, oh, I keep saying it, like, I just really do. That was a really cool perk. Obviously, hindsight being 2020, it would have been nice to have known, like, what everything does before you spec in any of your original points. Let me go to the center of this thing to see if there is anything here. Anything at all? Uh, I mean, I might just get my power armor, but we can do this. Ah, nope. I was trying to do one of these numbers. There's a, there's a spot. Usually a spot where you can see perfectly clear through the water, but nah. I don't see the I don't see anything underneath. Oh, there it was. Ah, uh, I'm not gonna be able to get it. There's, there's a spot where sometimes you can see through the water crystal clear, regardless of how foggy the water is. I'm not having any luck finding it here. What you got? Is that a bread box? He's just running away with a bread box. Oh god, the bombs are falling. I gotta save my bread. <laughs> I need my bread, it's important. Alright, I'm gonna run around to the other edge of the, uh, the swamp here, and we'll check that, and we'll loop around to those buildings over there. But Jamaica Plain is right here. It's right around the freaking corner. What is this? Ah, gas station. Is that care flower? Gourd Blossom? Gourd Blossom. I'll take it. Mute fruit! Mute fruit that I can't loot? Mute fruit that I can't loot. That is a sad mute fruit. I'm surprised there was, like, nothing trying to kill me in that little swamp. I just full well expected a Marlar Queen to jump out and rip my face off. I was I was pretty excited for that. I don't know why I'd be excited for something like that, but I welcome the I, I welcome the combat. I welcome the fun. Let's see. That's a high level goal right there. And if I can Codsworth, get the fuck out of the way. There's an invisible wall there. There's an invisible wall right there. I hit him. How do I is there like an invisible wall everywhere? Because my shit's just going through people at this point. Sorry, buddy. You gotta die. Codsworth, don't hit me. Do I need crits? I do not. Come on. Run around. There's a lot of ghouls. God, they're so, they're so like... They flail. <laughs> they're so, like, all over the place. Let's just queue up a few. Eh, you're a little bit further away. Let's get the close ones. Pew! Pew! And dead. Godworth is just... You dick! You dickhead! He's just picking them off from a mile away, then he randomly decides to shoot me in the ass. God! I hate you sometimes, you little bastard. You're randomly blinding me. And the worst part is it hurts my power armor. Where is he? Oh, we got him. Damn Codsworth with the, the snipe. 360 no-scope right there. Bull his leg off. I'm sorry, little buddy. Who else is alive? Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> fisticuffs. I love when he says that. You fancy a little bit of fisticuffs, do you? There is a shitload of ghouls in this place. Is this Jamaica Plain? This is apparently Jamaica Plain. It's just a huge town. I'm okay with this. This is cool. There goes a the car. I think I crippled that ghoul. Yeah, I crippled him right around the corner. Any other ghouls? Ooh, I see people. Or something. Raiders? They definitely don't look like gunners. There's a whole outpost over there. Any other ghouls? Yeah, you don't want to be on the ground in a zombie apocalypse. You want to be on the roof. <laughs> at least when you're shooting them all and they're running at you. And that would, uh, you just you get a little overwhelmed there. So I have quite a few bodies I need to go around and loot. That's, that's going to be a, uh, a task in its own right. Usually ghouls don't have much of anything even on them to begin with, but I did pretty much just kill every single one of them. Hello, Codsworth. Welcome. I think looting this place is going to be a task. It's uh, not going to be easy. There's a lot to it from what I can tell. I'm thirsty from a lack of water. Well, maybe someone brought me water. I wouldn't be so thirsty. Jeez. Take that post-apocalyptic logic. Yeah. Anyway, guys, it is time to wrap the episode up here. Episode 650. 
58 of Fallout 4. Finally in Jamaica Plain, it looks like. I still haven't technically discovered it. I didn't get the, uh, the little notification. Ooh! Tell me it's a settlement. Tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me it's a settlement. Hello, trap. Oh, there's a mine right there. Uh, excuse me. Tell me I can use this. Damn it. But it says I need to clear the enemies. Meaning, it looks like this is a settlement. Oh, it's in such a good spot, too. Ooh, I always get excited when I get extra settlements. It's always something that I look forward to. More to build, more to store, more just to work with. That's good times in general. So, guys, wrap it up here. Episode 658. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.